Well, our next celebrity housemate has been voted as one of the world's top 20 sexiest women. No, it is not Dame Edna. She's Ralph Magazine's sexiest model of the year. She's very busy being sexy, and I wouldn't be surprised if she ends up being sexy in the Big Brother house. She's 25, 36, 22, 33, 5 foot 7, but this tiny package measures up to a lot more than that. She's going to give us some surprises, so will you please welcome Imogen Bailey. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, Gretel. <laughs> yes, but I'm, I'm not a model and you look fantastic. How are you feeling? Actually, before we do that, Imogen Bailey, well known, your website has been hit on how many times? Five Over and a half million. million. Yes. Five and a half million times. For anyone who doesn't know Imogen, let's find out a little bit more over on the couch. <laughs> Imogen Bailey. Sexy, shy, really big heart. But I do have a few different personalities. I'm absolutely a clean person. And I'm handy on the house too. Funnily enough, sometimes I can be really, really um, aggressive. Something that's definitely better than sex is writing. As far as romance goes in the house, I guess my motto really is you never say never. I cannot tell you my most annoying habit, but I can assure you that it will stand out and it won't be something that you expect. Now tell me, why are you going into the house? I have a family member that um, at the moment isn't well and um, she's been taken care of by Ronald McDonald House. So I just want to say to everybody to enjoy the entertainment, enjoy seeing us at our best and at our worst, but most of all, please do get behind these charities because I know when it's very close to your heart that um, it's a really, really important thing. So, you know, please do it. That's why we're all here. Well done. Imogen is down to earth, level-headed and sweet-natured. She might be shy at first, but she is a performer. Imogen will endear herself to the other housemates and is likely to take on a very caring role in the house. I like strong people and people that are really focused and I look at you and I go, well, I know what some people say, but to me, you're standing up for what you believe mm -hmm. and you're not afraid to say it. Yeah. And in everything that you do, it's like, you know, whether it's your sport or whatever, from, and this is only my observation, mm -hmm. But I took notice of it because I appreciate that. That's like even you doing modelling. Don't tell me that there's people that don't treat you different. They go, oh, here we go, like, oh, titty, titty model, da-da-da, like, you absolutely. know, like, people will, wait, don't give you a chance because I think you love yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah, do you absolutely. get that? Oh, yeah. Oh, heaps. Yeah, does sure it, does it like, make you feel insecure? Yeah, and it hurts because they don't realise that I've worked damn hard. Because, you know, like, when I started, it was like, everyone was going, you're too short, you're too short, you're too short. Yeah. You know, it's like when I, I remember when I saw your Cleo cover and I was like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> no, oh, help me. No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like standing there going, oh my God, oh my God, yeah, my life is so funny. out there felt great because of that, but you know, like there's no short models on Cleo, do you know what I mean? But, yeah. No, but yeah, it also does hurt because they don't realise that behind all the stuff that I've done is me That's pushing it and me doing the whole product thing and that there's more to me than just, Yeah, and you know. sometimes you, you feel that um, people like you because of the way you look or expect something from you because of the way you look or yeah. you to be a certain person because of the way you look. They definitely It's like you. It's seeing it's in every... Okay, that's... We can always just do these.